Hello everyone, welcome to a Pokin hands-on tutorial. What we're going to be doing in this module is teach you how to build an event community site in just five minutes. The objective is for you to be able to offer a logged in experience to your visitors where you have relevant content, whether related to your event or content that simply provides additional visibility to your sponsors. What you'll see in this short four minute video is something you can easily do yourself. It's just a matter of preparing the branding elements you want to use to produce the beautiful custom portal as you have it here. In this example, we'll create a portal that's branded for Symantec, just as an example. This is the result of what we'll build together. As you see, it's a rich, full-featured community website where the visitor can log in, view her profile, view all the people and things you may have collected during the event, and it also provides access to a lot of other rich content, such as your company's Facebook stream, Twitter feed, some videos, and some great visibility for your sponsors. Now you'll start by logging into the Partner Tools at partner.poken.com. Just use your normal Poken login credentials. And we go straight into the Partner Tools, where we'll create our first event by clicking New Campaign. We accept the terms and conditions, and we'll start by giving the site a name, let's say Symantec 2013. Now we'll upload a thumbnail image to start the branding. We save our work by clicking right up here, and then go into the Branding tab. We upload a banner that will provide the main branding for the site. We'll also choose a color scheme that matches the color of the logo. Just to give you an idea of what we're working our way towards achieving here, on the left you have the minimal unbranded portal that we started with, while on the right you see fully branded community site. That's the one on the right that you'll get after uploading all the branding elements and configuring some of the content widgets. We'll go straight into configuring those widgets right now. So back in the editor, we select the widgets tab. On the left, we have the widgets library, which uh, you can use to choose any of the standard features. The middle and the right columns are where what the visitor actually sees when he logs into the portal live. So these are the ones the visitor can experience when he's logged in. We'll drag and drop the Twitter widget here into the portal and click Edit to configure the Twitter account it's connected to. I'll switch browsers here. I've already pulled up Symantec's Twitter page, so I can just copy-paste their Twitter handle into the widget. That's it. Now you'll have a live Twitter feed for all the visitors to see. Now we'll add Symantec's Facebook stream, so we drag and drop another iframe widget. We'll call it Facebook. That will pull all the content from the Facebook timeline of the client, and we'll switch over to my other browser here and just copy-paste the Facebook URL. We'll save that, and we're done. There we go. Let me find the LinkedIn widget. So we'll do the same and add LinkedIn to this portal. Type in LinkedIn, switch over to my other browser with Symantec's LinkedIn page, and I just copy and paste that right here. Now we'll save the campaign. We're almost there. Let's check out what this will look like to the visitor. So I go to semantic.poken.com in another browser window, and you see this nice branded login pane. This is what the visitor sees when they're about to log in. Bingo. Here you see the fully branded portal that we just created. If we scroll down here, there's the Twitter feed widget, the Facebook widget, all built in, and the LinkedIn widget with the latest news from Symantec. Okay, we'll add some videos to the portal to make it more live and colorful. So we'll drag and drop the multi-tab video widget. I'll edit it and switch over to YouTube. I've prepared a few relevant videos I want to visitors to see. So I copy paste the URL of the first video and I'll do the same for the next one and another one, another one. There we go. We'll call this the video widget, save it, and we're done. Now many events want to include sponsor branding as well into their event site. So I'll just drag this widget here and I've prepared a little page with all the sponsors logos. So I'll just copy that URL and edit and paste it here. Change the widget title to sponsors and save. Now if we go back to log in as a user, I'll just re refresh the page here. So now if we go back to log in as a user, I'll just refresh the page here and right here you see the video widget and all the sponsor logos below it. There you go. That's the full event community portal we've just built together. It's fully branded and ready to go. There are many more types of widgets you can include if you want surveys or conference agenda, the map of the venue, and so on. Pretty much anything you'd need to offer a great experience to your event participants.